Right. All right, quick demo of this. Now, normally you would have your filter because you want to protect your your unit at all times. But we know this refrigerant is clean. It's not a burnout. We're not going to use one just because we're doing demo and we're not going to hook it up. But you would normally always want a filter. It doesn't filter and clean to be reused the refrigerant. It just is to protect the pistons and the rings in here so you don't damage your machine. So I have it on the recovery part and I'm not recovering. I'm just cleaning out the air. The air is being sucked out of the line and it is off right there. So this is all under a vacuum. And you can see it's negative. It says negative 28 vacuum. So we're ready. And let's switch it around and make that so you can see the hoses. There we go. I'm going to do the purge method instead of the whole method. So there's tw negative 27. Turn it on. We know up to this point, close. Then this goes into purge. This is pushing like a little bit of air out there. So you see it's saying negative 28. This is under a vacuum, right? Where, no, not that one. This is under a vacuum. This is under a vacuum. I'm gonna show you if oil comes out. So the idea is you don't take it out of the liquid because you don't want to remove oil. And you remove it out of the vapor slowly. So we're gonna have both sides on but we're only going to take out of the low side at first until we drop the liquid side down to a vapor pressure below our ambient and we know we only have vapor on so you can see we already have refrigerant in here 29 and 108 from when we used it earlier on this same vehicle there we go close there 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 okay we're gonna Screw that one in. That's our high side. That's our low side. This vehicle, we went for lunch, we came back, and you could see the pressure is still not equal. All right, so now I know this line is under vacuum going to the machine, so I'm gonna open it. There, it's open. Oops, this is not open. Now it's open. So right now, the low side and the refrigerant recovery line, the uh, refrigerant line is open. It's gonna go through this filter and we're gonna see if any oil comes out. We wanna slow this down. So first we're gonna purge a little vapor through it. So I get that little squirt, that was it. And a little vapor went along the line and it just purged out air. So this is what you guys would do out on the field. Unless you wanna be like me, I put a T in it and I vacuum down this line. I go a little overboard. Um, okay, so we're gonna vacuum refrigerant out of the system but i'm not going to put it on full recovery because i don't want to vacuum it out so fast i don't want to see any liquid i don't want to see oil in here so i'm going to turn it down way down here now let's turn it on on we'll look here we'll look over here you see this going down so we're going down really slow actually so slow that it turned itself off because it went negative so what we'll do is we'll open it up a little bit more until we find the right happy spot where it works there we go we're at eight and you see here there's refrigerant going through here but you don't see it because it's under vapor you don't see no oil now if i turn this all the way open like that, you see that number? Ooh, now let me go back down. Now did you see that number jump up to 25? If I would keep it wide open too fast, liquid would come up here, but we don't want liquid, and I don't have it open enough, see I messed this up. I don't want liquid refrigerant, and it is possible to pull liquid refrigerant up through the vapor. We're only pulling from the low side. We're not pulling from the high side. We don't wanna take the liquid out because then we remove oil and you don't want to remove oil because we're just going to recharge this. You can see the low side is going down. The high side is higher because it's only pulling from the low side. And that's forcing the liquid refrigerant to go along its normal path to the expansion valve, goes through the orifice, it goes into the evaporator, it goes through the evaporator, and then the refrigerant comes up the suction line and the refrigerant is traveling up here and it's coming back. It's going up here, it's making its path, and it's coming down like this. 
So let's open it up a little more. Oh, it would be nice if I opened this. This is safety cutout. I didn't have that open. So I did safety cutout. All right, so we just proved the safety works at 525 PSI. And the hose didn't break. Okay, so we look back down here. We have no liquid, which is good. We look back up here. We're not negative. We're at 4 PSI and we're slowly dropping. It's not shutting off. We can open it a little more. Let's open it a little bit more. It jumped up to 8 PSI. So now we'll be, this number will be dropping faster. You can see it's dropping faster now. But we have a sight glass here and we can see there's no liquid in there. And because we have the sight glass here, we can see we're not pulling out any oil. And that's what you want. You do not want to pull it out so fast you pull out oil. I'm going to try to go a little faster. I see I dropped down. I'm going to go a little faster. I'm going to move it. Now I got it all the way open. That's as fast as it's going. The reason I did that, I noticed that the low side did not jump up. So I'm not pulling the mass volume of refrigerant that will pull liquid out of the system. It's no longer bubbling up. Now let's look at the low high side. The high side is below saturated liquid pressure. So the high side is now all vapor. There is no more liquid in the high side. So now we can recover from both sides. So now I'm gonna open up the high side and we will recover from both sides. Now it's safe to recover from the liquid side and not remove any liquid or any oil. Now it's safe to do oil. And if we come back here, we see there's no liquid, there's no oil, and that's what you wanna see. If you see nothing, that's good. And, and this has a default of negative 15. Uh, there's a setting to go to negative 20. Uh, he do, does, it's not set for that here, but that's, I like to go into the settings and you change the settings on this particular machine and I like to go down to negative 20. This cuts out too fast for me. Uh, I prefer to let them run and go all the way into the micron range. So we'll play with that a little bit. We'll see, uh, we'll keep doing this a couple times as it comes out. We'll do this, uh, what I call the monotonous way, keep playing with it. Oh, it looks like it might go to 20. Come back here. But there's still a few grams in the machine, in the condenser that condenses the vapor that's taking out into a liquid and then it's pumping it back into the tank. The tubes inside the condenser in the unit are filled up with refrigerant. We are on the recovery. We are not on the, see where it says self purge? We are not purging yet. So this weight is not the total weight. Another, oh, 60 grams is gonna come out of there when I put it on self purge. absolutely nothing you see nothing and that's how what you should see you should see nothing now sometimes if you get somebody who put a lot a lot of oil in the system and your recovery is really high you see that vapor line and you see that fitting it's at the highest part of the AC system sometimes when you hook up and there's a lot of oil in the system and you start recovering this will just fill up with oil immediately on some vehicle and uh, sometimes you'll see the oil separate and you'll actually be able to see with your eyes two different viscosities of oils that are not mixing and you can tell that it's contaminated with your eyes. So let me start this vehicle up now. Let's get some hot air going over the evaporator. And so you're supposed to preheat the vehicle and I wasn't because it's gonna make more noise. We gotta open up the, the door. So you don't want to run the AC while you have refrigerant in it and start to compress it because you don't want oil going through the suction line getting sucked up out of the system. But now that we're below zero PSI or, you know, it's five PSI or so, now it's good to have 
warm air going over it. This is really cold because the evaporator was icy. So you got warm air going over the evaporator and you have the condenser fans, you have the hot radiator, the hot engine. This speeds up vacuum time. We, we would already, if this was a hot engine and I had a hot cab, and this procedure would already be finished, but we're doing it kind of cold. So you see we're no longer 18 or, or 19 anymore because now I have hot air, it jumped back down or it, it's staying up because the hot air moving over the evaporator has raised the vapor pressure and it's helping boiling off some of the oil. So we'll just wait for this. We'll come back on the next, uh, well, let me give you a demo. We're not finished yet. See 210 grams? Now I'm gonna come over to purge. I'm gonna turn this over to purge. Did you see that jump? That's liquid coming out. See we were 210? Now we're 340, 350. So we just added over 100 grams came out of the coils when I went to purge. So let me go back and let's take some more vapor out of the system. So now we're gonna go back. So now we're sucking out of the system now. So this will stay still. I just bumped it. There we go, we're going into microns. Go again. It says 21 at this point, but it's actually microns. Now you see, we just vacuumed. Now you wait five minutes, let's turn this off. And you wait, and by EPA rules, you wait and make sure that this doesn't go beyond negative 15. So let's say it went to negative 29, negative 28, 27. Let's say it goes down to negative 13. If it goes negative 13, according to the EPA rules, you have to turn on the vacuum pump again, or not the vacuum pump, the recovery unit again, and recover it out, and then reperform your decay test for refrigerant. But we are holding rock steady at 1,000 microns. There's usually, at, for recovery only, the machines on the market go down to negative 15 and they do their recovery. But this unit is capable of getting all the refrigerant out much more than what is sold with the big dumb box machines and this is capable of going down to the micron level so let's purge the rest of this out oh let's uh, start it up okay let's watch it and i'm going to go over to purge i just went over to purge not much more it was mostly vapor because i was already down and that's it just let this run for a minute and what i do is all the liquid will come out and it'll be vapor only coming out. It says, and you have a closed valve right here. So see where that says close? That's open, that purges out. Close, close this one. And you slowly open that and just vapor comes out. Okay, that's it. Now, uh, we didn't have our short, my short, second short hose here. It should be a nice short hose. You have the scale, right? Because we're doing it on here. We have the scale here with a little short 12 inch hose, and that would be the best way to do it. All right, this is a quick, fast demo that has not been rehearsed, and that's the gist of it. Really simple.